everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Tyler's shop. We're working on the Toyota Tacoma. Tyler is perusing the election results on his phone. Uh! <laughs> we don't know what's going on. Hope everyone is prepared for the soon to come civil war. Just kidding. Today I'll be uh, taking apart my truck. We're gonna pull the CV axle out. I tried to catch, it definitely pops and grinds. I think we discovered that a little while ago when we were doing that winch test. It doesn't sound good. So yeah, something's definitely going out on it. Um, it's this one here on the driver's side. And so I bought a complete axle that has the, the plus two long travel axle already installed. You gotta excuse the lens has a little bit of damage. I dropped a tree on my camera the other day. That's four in one year, four lenses. That yeah, looks good. Oh, one's green and the other one's not gonna be green. Oh, gross. For one, the long travel or the mid travel axles, they're usually, they're pretty expensive. And two, you have to like beat the shit out of them to get them to come out of the, right. the ends of these things. And it's a ton of work. And so to just be able to buy it like that complete, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't horrible. Because we blew the passenger side in Moab. Yep. And then I should have replaced them both at the same time, but I didn't. And so it wasn't, it wasn't going to be long until that driver's side went out. <laughs> Whew, thing did not want to come out. All right, cutter pin. It's like this little uh, castle nut kind of guard thing you want to take off. It's a 35 millimeter nut on the end of that guy. Oh Those God. knuckles are gonna hurt. I'm just thinking if it. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Woo! You don't have a ball peen hammer, do you? You know. It's a, a doohickey. A doohickey. All right. I'll put something here. Let's see, it's all right. Here. There it goes. There it is. Cool. So you just pop that loose, and then next we're gonna take this castle nut off, and that pin is jacked up. Everything's got a nice layer of rust on it. I think it's from Ocean Shore. This one is a 19. Take that guy off. They make a tool that pushes this guy out, out of the tie rod, um, but we're gonna go with the doohickey. Goes. Perfect. So that's out of the way. This is different. So this is for my kit. So it's a half inch. This is a mid travel or a long travel kit from Baja Kits. I gotta get something up underneath. Um, usually I get like a nice uh, piece of wood. Give me your wood, Tyler. Okay. Oh, there's some wood. Putting the strap on <laughs> and. Tighten it up under the bottom of our lower control arm. Okay, so I got this, um... What's not gonna, what is that? I have the whole, man, dude, I'm drawing a blank on the, really should have briefed up on my truck anatomy. Just call it whatever. I got this don't here worry, don't worry. arm piece. It's a spindle, right? Like, does that sound right? Bobber? Fuck, I don't know. This is why I don't like doing tutorials. I know how to do the job. I just, I can't, I can't walk you through it that well. Okay. So we got this lower control arm assembly and hub assembly all tied up here in a bow. Uh, our next step is to try to fish this, this CV axle out. There's two ways to do this. I could take these guys off. Oh, that's probably what I'll do. That's what I've done in the past. I've leave, I just leave that uniball in there and I just take these two joints off and then I could take this out in a way oh. and uh, just be careful of the brake lines. But we could try pushing it down. The problem is just trying to get that CV. Out of, I'm trying to do this by memory. That's the tough part. Okay, so this is where things get pretty interesting because we're not going to rent a tool to pull the CV axle out. I'm going to use a strap and it's a pretty cool method that I've done before. I'm going to try to remember how to do it, so just bear with me. 
but you can wrap the strap around the CV axle kind of at the base and then you use the leverage of your lower control arm push down and it should yank the CV axle straight out so we'll try it what are you gonna do man oh I need to go to my rental but I don't want to Analysis paralysis. I know. It's been affecting you all morning. I just don't want to do it. It's not even analysis paralysis. It's just <laughs> lack of motivation at all. Shoot. And now I'm hungry. So now my motivation dips uh, it's, further. It's even harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This was supposed to just be a solo shop day. I know. Tyler. I was supposed to leave. Tyler's just been lingering. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like one of your creepy stalkers. So that's what's squeaking like crazy, Steve. Yeah. That is so loud. Yeah, it is really loud when like Des was driving away the other day. Is there no grease? Ooh. Come on. Pop out of there, you son of a gun. Hmm. For whatever reason, I can't seem to get the strap method to work for me. It's more of like a life hack than really a, an actual way to do it. So I took off the, the lower bolts that hold this lower control arm so you don't have to mess with the uniball joint. I just took that off. I hung my uh, hub assembly with some string just off to the side so that it's not putting too much pressure on my brake line. And we're gonna try to find another way to get the CV axle out of there. We're gonna get it done one way or another. It's just that little strap method's pretty sweet. Maybe I'll put up a little video of how it's supposed to work. I think I've done it before. All right, I'm gonna pull off my CBI off-road skid plate. See if I can get a little better prying angle on this thing. And if I can't, I'm gonna have to buy a special tool. So aggressive. He has the burgers. He has the burgers. Hey, yeah. Have a run. I'm so hangry, dude. This is bitch. Yeah. We've uh, I've given up on making a tutorial. It's it's just a struggle bus now. I don't like tutorial. I don't even know why. I don't. I don't want to do a tutorial. That's too much pressure. <laughs> this out. I crushed. So the skid plate, like on the Fuck, outside. Did you fuck something up? Well, the skid plate looks normal. Yeah. But look on the inside there, like. I bent those tabs in. Oh shit. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah, so it's really hard to get that last bolt So out. does that mean that whole bumper then is pushed in funny? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cause... I think it just squashed up. Like... Okay. But it held up. I think that's from that, uh, puddle from... jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> that would do it. Ah! Barely help him. That's all right. So the skid plate was just hard to get off because these little brackets got smushed. So I might suggest to CBI that they gusset those a little better. Well, but then the, all that impact goes into your frame. That's true. Then the impact would would have gone into the frame. So. I mean, I think that's probably better. The skid plate. Did its job, and now yeah. I can smell the diff fluid, wet fart smell. But I got it. I just pried on it enough in all corners until she popped. And oh yeah, there it is, baby! Woo! So that's what's holding it. This little uh, well, I thought it was gonna drip. <laughs> diff fluid yeah. smells the worst. It reeks. So that's what holds that in there. It's just this little ring, little rock. Uh, what do you call that? It's a, a hog ring. It's a hog ring. There you oh, go. Yeah. And this one has the same hog ring, so it just slides into the diff and goes pop, pop. Then we just reassemble everything. You mind holding that? I don't mind. All right. You're gonna get real shaky footage. Yes. <laughs> Tyler special. Tug. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's in. And there's, hear that little bit of play? That's normal. 
There's a lot of guys on the forums that'll like get under their truck and they'll work their CV back and forth. Must be bad. And they're like, oh, something's wrong, but it's not. There's a normal little bit of play in there. So let's uh, reassemble this thing, shall we? Cue time lapse. <laughs> it's done. I have to mount this somewhere. I wish it was that easy. Can't yeah, just hold it. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this skid plate. I think I can hammer it a little bit and kind of straighten out those little tabs. And like Tyler was saying, those tabs seem to be designed to like, to squash so that you damage the skid plate and not the truck. If they were super, super solid, it might have bent the frame again. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see if I can get it working a little bit better. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Dude, I need to start paying like a monthly tool deposit. Shop fee. <laughs> no, that's just old. Sorry. That's old. I was like, boom. It should, I mean, it's not like we were prying with it or anything. It's like, that was normal. I was using it as a that's, hammer. That's normal use. Okay, wait, I've got it. We'll go ahead and try it again. Carefully. Click. No, still, still no. Still didn't work. <laughs> camera, mm -hmm. a little bit of PTC, action, and action! So that's it for our CV axle install. Um, this is kind of part of uh, trying to get this truck looking and, and riding well again. I just put the Alpha Rex headlights in a little bit ago, so if you missed that video you should check it out because those are pretty cool. Um, and I'm hoping to try to learn how to do a vehicle wrap on the truck it really needs it really badly some of the like the bedsides are just raw fiberglass and we got away with that for a while but they started yellow in the sun and it's definitely noticeable um, so that's coming up soon and um, yeah I definitely want to get the Tacoma looking and riding good again so really really happy to get that CV axle fixed I have a group run coming up hopefully I get this video out soon we're gonna meet in Tahuya which is in Belfair Washington on the 21st. Check out my Instagram page so that you can be part of that uh, that community group meet. And I think we're gonna feed people pancakes, which would be good. So, all right. Um, I gotta head home and cover up our tiny home and tell you guys about the tiny home uh, in just a little bit. Broken pieces then now? Daddy fixed it, buddy. Oh. Look, my children are here. Look at Des driving the Raptor. Have you ever seen a sexier sight? Tell us, Des, what's going on? The kids got me. The kids got gotcha. you. The kids got me, and Tim's getting eaten. Tim? Freaking, like, the electric wire's on. I board it up, he just plows right through it, or she, and she just gets all of them in there. We're gonna eat a whole herd of Tim! We're gonna eat a whole herd of Tim! Really, Tim? Well, all right, so you head to the farm store, and then we got late night farm operations going on. Everyone told us cows was going to be a, it a nightmare. It started when, when the, the cow was officially named. As soon as you officially named Tim, Tim started causing trouble. Tim is the trouble cow. We're going to eat. We're going to eat her. So, okay. So Not go yet. go get those. <laughs> yeah, baby veal, delicious. <laughs> I'm done with the Tacoma. If you want to go get the fence deals, and then we'll meet back at home, and I'll uh, run the wire. And we don't want to piss off the neighbor right now. She's super stressed about the election. We're not getting political on this channel. All right, bye. I love you. Drive safe. Yeah, this is because the new tent's in there. Oh well.
I'm sick of it. That door looks pretty good. See this, bud? Oh. That's a quad. That's broken. That's a quad. You want to sit on that? No. No? I'll put you up there? No. I want to sit on it. No. Sammy wants to. Headed home, guys. Yep. We're eating Tim. And we're eating Tim. Yep. Let's shoot Tim and eat Tim. Sterling, that's really dark. <laughs> well, it sounds like I'll be able to get to test out my new CV axle sooner than I thought because we got to go down to the field and it's extremely muddy right now. All right, guys. Down to the field we go, okay? Okay. This is a fun adventure, huh? The truck? Yep, we got their four-wheel drive. It has done been activated. It's real wet. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, that's the hammer you got? This is the only hammer I can find. You've lost all of them. I have not lost any yes, hammers. You are so disorganized. I well, I don't have a shop. Okay. That's not an excuse. That is every excuse. Oh gosh, Barbara, don't do it. Oh fuck, Barbara, Barbara, why are you running up? Oh god, this is scary at night, Des. I don't like it. I'm getting. They're cornering me. We need to get there. I brought so I brought a small bucket of grain, but we're 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 missing a a puppy. You got all our puppies? Oh, good. Okay, I'll get you some grain then. It's good cows. It's good cows. Don't don't run up on me, Susan. You guys are over eager. You really are. You know that. Back up, Barb. Someone shit on Tim. Need a little more light. Get in there. Well, this has been super exciting. Um, we're <laughs> Got the CV axle installed today and I was able to help Des get the bottom wire on the fence. We didn't think we'd have to do it because there is a wooden fence there. And the breed of cattle that we got are known for just respecting the barriers really well. And the guy told us, oh yeah, single wire, single wire is totally fine. And so I had planned on just doing a single wire on the entire property. And I'm really glad I didn't because the calves were the calves are blasting their way right through the like the brittle wooden fence. And so um, every, every other part of the property has two wires except for this wooden fence. So they were going into the neighbor's property and the neighbor wasn't happy about it. So we're good. Now I need to drive this Raptor up to the top of the hill. It's super slick and muddy, so I'm in four high. I need to run down to the tiny home and cover it with the tarp again. And then I can go to bed and go to work tomorrow for a 24 hour shift at the fire station. Oh, shit! It's, uh... yeah, it's super creepy looking. So here's the tiny house. You guys are gonna have to check into a different video. Um, our farm channel is gonna have all the details on the tiny home, but we setting we're setting up an Airbnb here on the property. It's gonna be really really cool. Uh, I think you guys are gonna like the series that's gonna come out of this. So make sure you check out the Powell Family Farm vlog for all that stuff. It's gonna be good. Whew. All right guys, that's all the video I have left in me for today. So make sure you check back in next time. We got lots of really cool stuff coming out. 
so much cool stuff coming out. In fact, we have a, a new rooftop tent that I can't wait to show you guys. It hasn't been released yet. Tacoma Beast headlights should have come out recently. Tiny home, farm vlog, group run coming up, so make sure you stay tuned to my Instagram. I oh, can't really think of much else, but hope that you guys are living life to the fullest, having a great time. Don't take anything too seriously, especially the polls, the election. Hope you guys are, are looking after yourselves physically and mentally. And uh, yeah, get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Mm -hmm.